What screams this person peaked in high school to you? One guy the first knew literally got our school emblem and mascot in a huge class of 2010 tattooed on his shoulder. I used to work with a guy, we used to call him Royd Rage. He was very muscular, very masculine, and let everybody know both those things about him constantly. One day I'm sitting next to him in the break room and he's talking to me, unprompted as always, about how he went to attend an award ceremony for his son who won something regarding his football performance. I said well that was nice of you to go and support him nice? He said, it was fucking sad man. That used to be me. Now I'm the old guy in the room who has to watch someone else win something I should have had and all I could think was what a loser. You can't just be happy your son won this award and be proud of him. You have to make it about you. Regularly reposting the same picture of the one notable moment that they had in high school. Anyone who bullies other adults as if they were still in high school. Under college, university in their Facebook profile, it says school of hard knocks. Still acting like a typical mean girl when they're damn near, or past, 30. My ex-stepmother constantly bragged about being a cheerleader in high school and winning a beauty walk, in a town of like 500 people. She was still bragging about these the last time I saw her. She was in her mid-40s. It doesn't get better once you grow up I told a sub-teacher at my school that people told me this all the time and she told me the only people that say that are the ones that peaked in high school. I miss her every day. One of my high school teachers explained it like this. Don't let anyone tell you that these are the best years of your life. It's a lie. Your high school years actually suck. If you go to college, you'll make friends with people based on shared values, not because you've been in the same school since grade one. You'll have more fulfilling relationships, more freedom, and as the years go by, more discretionary income. And just when you think it can't get any better, your children grow up, move out of the house, and leave you with the freedom and time and money to do damn near anything you want. But you'll never be this thin or pretty again. So enjoy that. Still going to every high school football game and sitting in the student section skull. Bragging about high school hookups in their 30s. They keep insisting for the next 30 years that they would have taken state if coach would have put them in the game. I graduated in 05. I was sitting at a tire shop waiting for my truck to get done and an employee slightly older than me walks up to me and asks me, with no previous interaction, if I played football in high school. Wondering where this was going, I responded that I did, but I wasn't great at it. He asked what school I went to, and I told him. Then he starts talking about himself. How he was, all conference, and walking me through all of his high school accolades. I never asked for this conversation. I just sat there wondering why this nearly 40-year-old, wildly out of shape, tire shop supervisor was telling me all of this. Then just as soon as it started he bid me good day and walked off. It was bizarre. The best comparison I could make was that he was like the manager, Dan, from the movie Waiting. That was his vibe. That's how I knew he peaked in high school. They want to organize high school reunions every five years. They want to organize high school reunion. Social media has made high school reunions mostly pointless. Once upon a time, your last day of high school was literally the last time you ever saw or heard from most of your classmates unless you went to a reunion. And say bad things on social media about people who can't or won't come. Sorry, but it was a six-hour drive and I haven't spoken to anyone from high school in over 20 years. I went to homecoming my freshman year. That was the only time I ever attended a school function. Nothing bad happened, I just didn't care for it. Skipped prom. Skipped five-year reunion. Skipped ten-year reunion. Skipped fifteen-year reunion. About to skip twenty-year reunion. My father-in-law was the same way. He just went back for his fiftieth reunion though. My wife and I were perplexed, and asked why, since it involved a ton of driving. I want to see which of those rat bastards have outlived, and I'm buying a motorcycle up there and bringing it home. This might blow some Americans' minds, but with English boarding schools you have them. Annually. That's right. Every year there is an old boys' reunion, which some wankers go to every single year. I know one person that travels greater than 5,000 miles to do it, and we graduated in the 80s. I went to my 20-year one. 
I wouldn't normally but it was after COVID restrictions eased and I thought, why not? Well, my crush had gotten fat, but she did finally deign to speak to me, so that was neat. A guy the first was friendly with all those years ago is now a full-blown anime weeb, rare in middle-aged Brits. I, astoundingly, appeared to have the most hair left. The people who bullied me had that gaunt look of in-denial alcoholics. Whole thing was a bit sad. Would go again. My 15-year one was cancelled due to lack of interest. I'm hoping they keep the ball rolling on that. Edit. Afterwards I was told the valedictorian and the salutatorian both got into a heated argument over it in the Facebook group, blaming each other for it not happening. Almost 10 years after high school a guy asked me if one of my friends was popular in high school. I when the former high school bully you beat in a karate tournament with an illegal face kick shows up at your business and all your employees know exactly who he is. In my experience, it's the people that talk about things that happened in HS as if it were yesterday. Constantly. I had an ex who would always tell me crazy stories. I'd ask, when did this happen? She would say sophomore year and we were mid-twenties. Over time, it became clear that HS was the best years of her life and most likely will continue to be as she didn't have much ambition after HS. I had one good year in HS and reminisce about it every now and then but it is not on the forefront of my mind. Most of my time in school is a big foggy coalescence of unpleasant emotions and the occasional embarrassing memory that springs up as I'm trying to fall asleep. Hey girl hey, do you want to be your own boss babe while working from home? And it's just a pyramid scheme?